hey guys welcome back to the channel and um pretty much just like the journey that i took with asper and uh if you saw my last video i i kind of shared the story of covering casper and becoming a future casper millionaire by accruing two million tokens oh sorry two two million casper cryptocurrency because casper is not a token okay it's a project that obviously has done very well and i wanted to kind of give you what i think is a wake-up call because right now i'm buying games for a living as my next bag to fill and why you know why i think games for a living is prime to do at least you know between one and a half to two dollars potentially at the top of a bull market and why fifty thousand tokens today at two thousand dollars could actually be life-changing all right so if we do the same comparison obviously two different projects but i talked about the average buy yesterday okay so if you look at casper and when i was buying casper at one cent or four cents and seven cents people didn't actually you know some people were like oh my god you know that that's a lot of money and today if you were to buy fifty thousand casper that's going to set you back nearly seven thousand dollars that's a lot of money right a lot of money i mean i was getting this around the same same as gfal right now and uh through a strong gaming narrative i think games for a living sitting outside just inside the top 500 has all the fundamentals of course the at the moment the circulating supply and the unlocks there is a there's a significant dilution that happens but it's so far been absorbing and has a nearly 13,000 people watching it on uh, CoinGecko. So, my advice is this. And it's not financial advice, but it's what I keep doing with Casper. Mike, uh, with, with games for a living. I totally, like now my bag is looking around something just over half a million uh, tokens. And I buy these in, let's say, $2,000 snippets. All right? Obviously, me and the Patreons have been getting into this project. And uh, the the strategy is we fill a bag and we move on. We fill a bag and we move on. So it's only a quick one, guys. But I want you to take, um, to, to kind of pay attention to what I'm telling you now. And don't have regrets in the market, guys. There are two things you can do. You can act or you could just watch the market. Now, Watching the market sometimes is quite good if you've got a lot of dry powder in USDT that you're able to deploy on dips. So this is the kind of games and tactics that we need to be aware of, guys. But best believe uh, there are still massive opportunities in the market. We're still not in the height of the bull market. And I just want you guys to know if you're feeling a little bit despondent about not catching Casper, that shouldn't worry you at all. The next projects are right there in front of you. And you know less than a dollar just inside the top 500 that's actually something that has all the appeal to uh to do really well guys so again none of this is financial advice but let me know what you're buying what you're selling and what your investment strategy is all right quick one today take care guys see you on the next one